welcome to AUSA 2019. Uh, my name is Paul. I'm with Sig Sauer. So what we have in front of us today, the ammunition is what is key to the program. That is the commonality between both platforms. Uh, the MCX Spear is our magazine-fed submission. So it's all about keeping your military safe at a safe distance to an engaging enemy, to identify that enemy uh, and engage them before they become a threat. The 6.8 at the velocities that uh, the government is asking for with a grain projectile that they've chosen uh, is very effective at range. That's why 6.8. Yes, absolutely. So we'll start with the M6X Spear. It's your typical M4 platform, right? If you look at this from the outside envelope, it really doesn't look much different than any other assault rifle that's on the market today. Uh, a lot of the things that we had to do to the gun are internal to the weapon, and we left the outside of the weapon so that soldiers that already know AR-type platforms can transition into this weapon easily. So AR-style controls, right? AR-style grip and AR-style uh, stock controls we go to full auto and then semi uh, we also incorporated a side charging handle into this weapon system again it's transitioning infantrymen to belt fed soldiers belt fed soldiers are comfortable with an infantryman gun there is a, there is a weight delta from a standard m4 platform you have to increase the weight somewhat uh, and the u.s military knew that because you're asking for a, a much different round so in order to, again, capture that uh, chamber pressure, you have to beef up the, the, the gun a little bit. So they gave a little bit extra on the weight requirement, uh, knowing that they needed the capability of standoff. So all of our weapon platforms are fully optimized for suppressed, right? We have two gas settings, only two. We got rid of adverse. We want to keep things simple for the infantrymen. We have suppressed and unsuppressed. That's our gas settings. Adjustments here on the gas valve. But the suppressors that we've developed for this program, usually there's a trade-off, right? You, you're asking a suppressor to do three things, sound, flash, and reduce blowback. And it's usually a trade-off. If you do really well in one area, you really don't do so well in another area. Uh, with our suppressor group, I think we've done extremely well in all three areas. We have reduced sound, which saves a soldier's hearing, right? Now they can do their 20 years and get out and still be able to hear their grandkids. Uh, the muzzle flash. You don't want to give your position away, right? So our muzzle flash is almost nil. Very little muzzle flash, especially after the second round. First round you'll have a little bit more. That's typical of a suppressor. But the big one and the new requirement that is becoming apparent in the industry today is reduced blowback. Blowback typically with a suppressor, it's, it's the toxic gases that come over your soldiers, right? Gives them melanoma of the face, heavy metals uh, ingested into their system, and they're toxic. Uh, our blowback is on par with a M4 unsuppressed. So we're getting the same performance out of our suppressors suppressed as an M4 unsuppressed.